Okay. Hello there. Coach R. Oh. I got my wife some milk and she just told me thank you for the milk. I got up early. I just can't help it. I like being alive. I got a lot to talk about personally and professionally as a swim coach. Uh, I get to have the nice view now of the north bend of the Coos Bay River, which gave my little town its name. North Bend, Oregon. I can't tell you how many times People say, oh, I know where Bend is. I said, no, different place altogether. Bend is a beautiful place, but it's up high desert, and we are right on the water, which I much prefer in uh, wintertime. Getting old. It's just fun to have a place you can get out and walk around in. Idaho, Kathy and I would have been locked in our little cabin for three weeks, a month at a time, from snow being so heavy. I mean, we might go out and might exert myself a little and always wanted a snowblower with a little tractor to go with it. Uh, but I had a little tractor once didn't work out so well for me. I owned it with my dad. It wasn't his fault. Kind of it was. He had to cut the wires and hot wire them. What the heck over? Don't mess my tractor up that way. Anyway, because he didn't know where the key was or something, I don't know. But at the end, you know, after I a handshake deal with my dad, that if I picked up the note, I could own it when it was done. And I did that. But then when we came to splitting the estate, Peter says, well, what about the tractor? I said, well, I own that. And I tried to explain, and I don't, they had to say the price, value of the tractor and put it in there. But hey, I'm not really fussing at my brothers because we were really pretty smart about the way we broke up my parents' estate. It's a little side story, but my great-grandmother bought 40 acres on the lake back in 1911 for $10. And now, because I'm one of the inheritors, I got 11 and a half ac 11 acres on the lake and I've spent every summer there for the last 30 years more than that yeah no I we started taking our children to that so it could be their home they were brats they were military brats we were bouncing them around every two three years they didn't get a home home unless I provided them a home home which I did we took, I took 30, 30 days off every year to the chagrin of some of my immediate superiors. <laughs> they thought, if you can be gone a month, then this place doesn't need you. Uh, well, <laughs> I got it running so smooth that it can go without me. Isn't that what you want when I exit? <clears throat> anyway. At DSAA, I took three, or three weeks. That's all I could squeeze out of Dale Michaela. <laughs> I'm using your name. I liked him. I did not. My last assignment, he gave me do a good job. And I think he, uh, he didn't like that much. So, but I don't blame him. I don't know what I was thinking. It was a high level job too. Oh well. You live and learn. Um, that's all memories. Let me tell you what's current. I'm in the middle of a tag game. 
with my friends from Taft High School from years ago. And we only have it on February, but we run around and I gotta give shout outs to Tim Dressler. He does shine the light of Christ. He was so nice to me. This has been hard on me not being able to get out and get a tag, but I'm a swim coach. You gotta be there every day on time, ready to work with a good attitude and an ability to work with others. That's the whole thing I need to talk about. I got two kids on my team, I'm not gonna let them out, that need to learn how to work with others and give it a little bit of a hustle if you're making everybody wait. It isn't all about you there. That's off my chest. But um, Tim Dressler, though, wow. He drove all the way down from Salem to receive a tag from me because he felt bad about it. I don't know whether I can, he did a little video on it. I don't know whether I can cut it and put it here, but if I can. Hey everybody, tag team. So I decided to exercise a little compassion and uh, help out the old man, Bruce. I feel bad for him, the guy's pinned down with swimming season. He's got playoffs or postseason, so league last weekend districts this weekend they got state next weekend kind of makes a makes it a little tough for him to get out get away and knowing all you if you're like me no one's really going to get go to coos bay or north bend area to uh say hi to bruce during this time of this the year so uh i decided to take advantage of his closeness down in eugene and help the man out a little bit so I took the tag, good luck. Uh, I am going to tag somebody and I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet, but it's gonna be awesome. Um, geez, it's like I get so excited about swimming and I see my kids doing really well and we're leading through two thirds of the meat I got parents coming up and they're saying, hey, according to my calculations, if, if we can beat Springfield this time, we're gonna be district champions on the girls' side. That is something. And for the second year in a row, <laughs> they beat us by one half a point. They got more breaststrokers than we do. They load up on the end. We load up on the front. They load up on the end. <laughs> They've got a breaststroke coach. I got to go through this every time somebody walks by. But at least they know I got dogs. I don't have to. Hey, Maggie, knock it off. You sweet dog, you sweet dog, you sweet dog. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, <laughs> I love these dogs. They are a lot of fun. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just lost myself in those hugs. I'm sorry. Bring me back, Kathy. What was I talking about? Talking about oh. beating Springfield. And I get so wound up, and the girls do so good, and some of them do, don't do as good as they like, and they get emotional about it. Uh, that's just a full and abundant life, I think. I love this, by the way. Thank you all for doing this with me. Couldn't be any more fun for me. I painted my beard. They probably got videos of me. I rented a little scooter at the mall 
and I buzzed around. If I can get one of those videos, I'll clip it. Swim. Fast. Swim. Fast. <laughs> Inclusivity. I want everybody pulled in. So I don't know whether I got to talk about everything, but I talked about a bunch. And thanks for listening this long. Bye. <coughs>